The rumors about Zendaya and Tom Holland being in a relationship have been circulating since 2016 after the pair met on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming. The co-stars refrained, neither confirmed nor denied the relationship until some kissing photos did the work for them. We all know that Zendaya and Tom Holland met on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming. Holland tells people at the time, we are like the best of friends. She's so great and amazing. I'm a little worried Zendaya is super famous and she's been through this and I just call her up and say, how do I manage being famous? I'm very glad I have a friend like her. Find out everything about their acting like an old couple and more in our video of their relationship timeline. So when Tom and Zendaya were asked about who would cook the better Christmas dinner, Tom's answer was, I could cook you up a lovely little nut rice, stuffing, potatoes, etc. He further said sweetly, either one of us has to cook. Either Zendaya is cooking or I'm cooking. Because today, every time she cooks, comes millimeters from not chopping her fingers off, her hand off. Well, Zendaya replied to him saying, we both are a bit controlling in the kitchen. I like to do it my way and he likes to do it his way. So it's better if just one of us does it. Not only this, but when they were playing the spin game, Tom asked Zendaya to go first by saying, ladies first. Zendaya cutely smiled at him and said thank Thank you. Ladies first. Thank you. In another question, when they both were asked about who was most likely to make a mistake while filming, Tom replied, she pushed it too far and the director is like, will you just do as you're told please? When Zendaya's asked, is that true? She said yes. And then she pinched Tom's shoulder warmly afterwards. When Tom and Zendaya were asked about who would make a better superhero in real life, they both pointed towards each other as the best superhero. While Tom added, she is a pretty wonderful person. In one of their interviews together, Tom and Zendaya were asked, if you guys have the opportunity to go over and act one scene from one of the previous franchises, which one would you love to have a chance at acting in? Tom answered to this, saying, I want to go and do the upside down making out scene in the rain right now. Zendaya felt a bit shy after listening to his answer, and then she started laughing. Zendaya talked about the annoying thing about being around Tom is just that he's so good at everything. And she thanked him for that, saying, that's just really annoying. It's because you're like, I can do, and he's like, let me try, and then he's really good. So thanks for making me feel good about the special thing. Well, no doubt, they're both really ambitious and they challenge each other. But most importantly, they make each other crack up. They seem to have a really similar sense of humor and love joking around together. They have great banter back and forth. In an interview with GQ, Tom Holland opened up about his relationship with Zendaya. Holland said, One of the downsides of our fame is that privacy isn't really in our control anymore. And a moment that you think is between two people that love each other very much is now a moment that is shared with the entire world. Although the world knows they're a couple, it's still important to Holland to keep his private life private. He said, I've always been really adamant to keep my private life private because I share so much of my life with the world anyway. We sort of felt robbed of our privacy. I don't think it's about not being ready. It's just that we didn't want to. Tom also refuses to discuss details of his relationship without Zendaya present. He continued, You know, I respect her too much to say this isn't my story. It's our story. And we'll talk about what it is when we're ready to talk about it together. The pair practically make hard eyes at each other on the red carpet of a London photo call for their movie Spider-Man No Way Home. During an interview on the carpet, Holland points out Zendaya, saying, There she is, looking beautiful, might I add? He also opens up about their companionship and how they deal with fame. According to BuzzFeed, he says, Two friends coming together, experiencing this world, going through the same problems at the same time, having a shoulder to cry on, has been a huge thing for the pair of us, and with Jacob Batalon as well. We really are a family. Zendaya later adds, Sometimes you just had to be a person to vent to, someone to just be there and listen. I was lucky enough where my life didn't change overnight. I started when I was young, so it was kind of like a slow progression. I kind of got to learn it as I went and figure it out and get my footing a little bit. Whereas for him, it was so much all at once. I have an extreme amount of empathy for that. So anything that I learned or have learned or continue to learn, I share with him. And anything he learns, he shares with me. 
The couple's interview with IMDb, as seen on YouTube, revealed Tom Holland's desperation to join the Euphoria cast of stylish high school characters alongside its lead actress, Zendaya. Even though the new season doesn't seem to bear a trace of Holland, fans of Tom Dea hope to see him show up in a surprise role or cameo in the third season. In the interview, Holland can be heard saying that he has visited the Euphoria set at least 30 times with the hopes of scoring a role. As he puts it, I have been petitioning for this for a long time and it has not happened yet, and I'm very disappointed. Reports surfaced that Zendaya and Tom Holland have moved in together. According to The Mirror, the two found a six-bedroom home about four miles from his hometown in the UK. They are over the moon about the property and getting their first home together, a source says, per 17. They are very much in love and wanted their first home to be in London, where Tom grew up. Everyone is thrilled for them. However, Holland shut down these rumors during an appearance on Live with Kelly and Ryan. He clarified, I've had so many people call me up because, apparently, I bought a new house in South London, which is completely false. I didn't buy a new house. I'm like, wow, what a surprise. I wonder when I'll get the keys. Now that Zendaya and Holland have sealed their romance in the public eye, the two have been captured while going on dates, wearing each other's name on the back of hockey jerseys, and sporting seemingly perfect hair while wearing sleek outfits in New York City. During the premiere of Holland's latest movie, Uncharted, social media put their names on the trending list by commenting on their hot weekend date nights. While the media has turned Zendaya and Holland into a cute couple, they have also offered unwanted judgment at times. For instance, the couple's height difference became the subject of jokes and speculation as Zendaya is taller than her boyfriend. In a promotional appearance for No Way Home on SiriusXM seen on YouTube, Zendaya addressed how her mother is also taller than her father, normalizing the notion of straight couples where the female is taller than the male. Holland also added how it's a stupid assumption for men to be always taller than women. Zendaya and Holland's interview with SiriusXM revealed some interesting stories behind the scenes of No Way Home. Tom also talked about a hilarious incident between takes of a scene that resulted in Holland passing wind in front of Zendaya. The scene in question is when Peter webs MJ back into her house, but the harness attached Holland's Spider-Man suit was so tight on his stomach that he had no option but to let out a toot. Zendaya jokingly recounts the moment by adding that she felt the rattle. This is yet another of the many heartwarming moments that the couple share and shows the comfort level that the two lovebirds have with each other. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video. See you soon. So then, be safe and stay well.